Today, we're diving into something pretty amazing, the incredible transformation of wood and how it's completely changing modern construction. So let's kick things off with a question that might just flip what you think you know on its head. What if the oldest building material we have is also the most futuristic? I mean, look at this. On one side, you've got the wood we all know, right? The stick-built frame of a house. But on the other, that's the future. We're talking about massive timber skeletons from modern skyscrapers. It's a tale of two woods, and we're going to explore both. All right, first up, the familiar frame. Let's get into the nitty-gritty of how we traditionally build with wood. So this is what most of us think of, light frame or stick construction. It's kind of the unsung hero of North American homes. You know, it's that hidden functional skeleton made up of all those little pieces of lumber, like two by fours. It's all about efficiency and keeping costs down. But then you've got post and beam construction, and this is a whole different beast. Instead of a hidden skeleton, this system uses fewer but way bigger timber pieces, and they're not hidden at all. They're meant to be seen, left exposed as a design feature that creates these huge open interior spaces. And really, it all comes down to philosophy, doesn't it? For light frame, the structure is functional and hidden. For post and beam, it's expressive and celebrated. Are you hiding the bones of the building or are you putting them on display? That's the core difference. Okay, so that sets the stage for the really exciting part, the mass timber revolution. This is a total paradigm shift in wood construction. Seriously, this is a game changer. First up is cross laminated timber, or CLT. Now what is this stuff? Well, imagine taking layers of wood and stacking them in alternating directions, then gluing them together. It's like plywood on steroids. What you get are these incredibly strong and stable panels. So strong, in fact, they have a similar strength to reinforce concrete. We're talking floors, load-bearing walls, even elevator shafts, all made of wood. Then you've got glued laminated timber, or glue lamp. This time, the layers of lumber are all glued together with a grain running in the same direction. And the result is wild. You get these massive beams that are pound for pound stronger than steel. This is the tech that lets architects create those huge dramatic curves you see in stadiums and lobbies. It's just spectacular. And this isn't just a small step forward. This is so big that experts are calling mass timber a new category of wood product that could revolutionize how America builds. Think about that. It's being positioned as a real low carbon alternative to steel and concrete. And get this, this is happening right now. It's not some futuristic fantasy. Building codes are changing and many now allow for timber structures to go as high as 18 stories. 18, wood is literally reaching for the sky and redefining our city skylines. The benefits don't stop there either. There's what's called the off-site advantage. See, these massive timber pieces are made in a factory, then shipped to the site. What does that mean? Well, construction time can be cut by 25%. You need 75% fewer workers on site. And maybe best of all for city dwellers, it means 90% less construction traffic. That's a massive difference. So we've covered the skeleton. Now let's talk about the skin. Let's move on to timber's protective skin, the building's envelope. So when you're choosing wood for the outside of a building, the cladding, you've got some amazing options. We're talking Western red cedar, Siberian larch, European oak, even super tough tropical hardwoods like eBay. The key thing they all have in common, natural durability. They're naturally resistant to rot and decay, often without needing any chemical treatments. But here's the thing that makes designing with wood so different. An architect isn't just picking a color off a chart. They're designing how that wood will gracefully age over time. You see, unlike paint or brick, what is a living facade? It changes, it records the passage of time, weathering into this beautiful silvery gray patina. It tells a story. Let's bring this down to something really practical, like a deck. It's one of the toughest jobs for wood. And you've got choices, right? You can go with pressure-treated wood, it's affordable and has a great lifespan, excellent value. Or you could go with cedar for its natural beauty. But if you want the absolute king of durability, you go for something like IP. Yeah, it's a bigger investment up front, but it can last up to 75 years. That's a lifetime. So now that you know about these two worlds of wood, the hidden and the celebrated, the familiar and the revolutionary, will you ever look at a building the same way again? Next time you're walking down the street, look up and ask yourself, is that building skeleton hidden away 